guys um it's been a very long time um since i made like a real talkative video to where i talked to you guys about stuff because um number one i went on vacation um i went to florida for two weeks had a great time um yeah so that kind of threw me off track with the whole youtube video thing so that's why i kind of you know haven't been here in a while but i um uh and i'm working on the florida videos uh i'm putting like all my pictures and videos that i took into one or i'm gonna have to make two separate youtube videos and they'll be up too soon there's like a lot a lot of stuff to go through and the time limit and there's it's just crazy <laughs> i need a lot of time for this um i yeah one thing i really want to talk about today is um friends friends quote unquote friends Okay, so me personally, a friend is someone who's always there for you, never lies, never tells secrets of yours or anything, and always, always, always wants to hang out. Yeah, kind of stupid thing, but yeah, that makes a good friend. They always, you know, talk to you, they always want to be in your life. My issue with friends right now is not a lot of friends completely understand me and are there for me. Um, not, not very many people are there for me anymore like it used to be. I guess you can say that people just, you know, slide away from your life and after a while just people stop caring and that's how life goes on. But just because you're fucking depressed doesn't mean that you sit there in your room all day by yourself talking to no one that actually wants to fucking talk to you. You don't sit there depressed. You fucking talk to people and you take your feelings out on other people by talking to them while people make you comforted. Okay? We get it. You're angry and you hate the world and you want to kill yourself. I know. I know. I know how it feels to want to just die. Okay? Just to be serious. I know how it feels. But... It's not healthy to be alone. I know what it feels like to be sad and alone. I know, I know, without any friends, without any people who understand me. I know what it's like. You don't understand. It's just, well, you do understand, obviously. I do know what it's like. But when you are sad, you do not sit alone. If you have, if you have friends that actually want to talk to you and comfort you, you talk to them. Some people really have an issue with that. It's, you know, whatever. I'm here for all my friends that actually are my friends. I'm here for everybody, basically. If anybody ever has a problem they want to talk about, I'm here for anybody. Even people who don't like me. If people who don't, who don't like me want to talk to me, it's fine because I'm a good person. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, just fucking saying. I'm like hitting my dresser. Me personally, like I already said, I don't really have a lot of friends that are there for me and to come for me at times when I just want to fucking kill everybody and myself and then the world is just over. But I don't... I don't dwell on it. I just sit there, you know, of course at first I'm gonna be a little bit sad, blah blah blah, whatever, who fucking cares. But then I get over it, I flip the hair that I already cut off, I don't have any more hair, which is awesome. I, I, I hate it now that I don't have any, it's like, oh my god, thank fucking god that I cut that mop thing. But yeah, so when I am like sad or whatever, I just get over it because what's, what's life? Like, life is not long enough to dwell on people and hurt over people that honestly is no reason to hurt over people are not worth it so basically just make the best of life make the best of what you have and um yeah just i don't know just um yeah if you're watching this and you ever need somebody to talk about just message me on facebook myspace whatever you know and or like YouTube or whatever. I am here for anybody and everybody. Bye guys.